Zone at 91.3 presents The B-Side. Right. Yeah, good, man. Hey, Dylan, how's it going? Yeah, great. How are you? I'm great. I'm really enjoying that the weather got nicer. How about you, Jason? Isn't it finally about time? Yeah, geez. I'll tell you. I'm just soaking it up. Dude, I'm so into it. And I, th- I, I predicted yesterday that this sunshine would change everybody's moods. And uh, uh, case Look in point us. right here. I'm throwing power punches into the sky. <laughs> like just walking around. I got so much energy. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Feeling great. Oh, God, I wish I was driving by just watching you power punch the sky. <laughs> That'd be good. Uh, what's on the B-side today, my friend? Well, I missed uh, I missed a show a couple of weeks ago because I was in Vancouver. Right, mm-hmm. yeah, because you're so important and you just forgot about it. I'm yeah. sorry. Uh, and uh, But while I was there, I got to adventure a little bit. And so I thought for the first time in, in B-side history, I'd talk about something outside of Victoria. Yeah. And so I, I found some Which places. Which is like right against the credo of the B-side. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm just showing, you know, keep them guessing. Yeah, okay, Exception cool. that proves the rule. Yeah. So I, but I found a few cool places. So if you ever find yourself in Vancouver, you know, it's, it's a perfectly nice city. But I spend way more time in other places than I do in Vancouver. So I don't know it really well, but I had a week of, of stuff. So I was there. So three places I want people to know about. One, most people should know about already, but you may have forgotten how great it is. And that's the Camby. Oh, Camby, I love the Camby. It's got Camby's that, incredible. It's got that like, kind of punk rock, rock and roll. Bartenders don't really care whether or not you're happy. Yeah. You know, unusual, cheap food menu, beer hall vibe, but it's got character. It's been around for a while. And so, it's loud. I love being in the Camby. Music's great. Just a great spot to go in. Ball machines. You know, yeah, yeah, everything. So the Camby, number one, got to check that out. New place um, that's really popular if you're over in Vancouver and Gastown is called Guilt and Company. You guys heard of this place? No. I've heard of Jesse it. Jesse Roper just played there a few weeks ago. Undergra- right. uh, what's that new groovement? Right. What's that? Uh, they played like the, like while I was there. Um, but every night they have live music there. It's uh, it starts at eight and it's pay like pay what you want. So it's by donation to the band, and that's it's not a huge room, but it's a really good vibe. Line up all the time. So if you want to go, I will get there early. I went on a Monday, so there wasn't a lineup. But a nice cozy room. It's kind of underground. Kind of feels like an old speakeasy. Like maybe you found something you're not supposed to know about. Mm-hmm. And great live music. Uh, you know, good cocktails. I didn't eat any food, but I'm sure I'm sure that was good too. What a cool concept. So pay what you want for yeah. the music. Live music every night of the week. Yeah. 8 p.m. Pay what you want to the band. Really cool. Right? So as you're going in, you make it, and you can make a donation on the way out too. And I, can't, I, I tried to find out who I saw. Saw a great Vancouver band. It was kind of like Natalie Merchant with horns. Um, and they did Yeah, like, you lost me at Natalie Merchant. I know, it was good. It was funky. You, know, it was funky. you don't like her? I don't know. Yeah, I don't. No, I'm thinking of 10, Natalie. Maniacs. No, you know, I know. You know who I am thinking about is Natalie Imbruglia. Remember her? Oh, I do. I, know, yeah. I used to love her. Yeah, Mr. Screensaver over here. He knows exactly <laughs> who I'm talking what about. What was her song? I have no idea who this is. Well, just pause. Yeah, yeah. You'll remember it. <laughs> the last place, this place blew my mind. So I, um, while I was there, I reached out to Jeremy Baker. You know, Zone alumni is, alumni is like, are you going to be doing any shows tonight? Because I'm going to be out and about, and I, you know, I'd love to come by and say hi. And he said, yeah, but I'll be in the suburbs. Why don't you? Uh, why don't we meet somewhere downtown? And so he told me about this place called the Shameful Tiki. Shameful Tiki. Oh, you were well, going on about oh this my last God, week. This place will blow your mind. Yeah. So it's another small joint. It's outside of town. It's like at Main and 28th or 29th. So it's not convenient. You walk in, it's full on Tiki Bar. And there, there's a bunch of regulars. There's booths and everything. There's palm trees and, and bamboo and idols. They got special mugs. And every drink is like a concoction. I sat right in front of the bartender and watched this guy go. He's uh, friends with Sean Sewell from, uh, who's running Cafe Mexico That's now, right. but also okay, yeah. started up Little Jumbo. So they're making these concoctions. Like I ordered a white Russian, of course, and they gave me a cocoa Caucasian, it was called, and it was like this sort of like chocolate milk coconut uh, white Russian. Unbelievable. Entertainment. They had like Polynesian dancers in grass skirts. They had uh, an MC who looked like Freddie Mercury wearing a, like a tuxedo. And he's like walking around like he was, he reminded me of what's that uh, B film director that did Pink Flamingos? John Waters. And he's wearing a tux and he's hosting it. He's like, and every once in a while he's like lounge singing with the band. <laughs> then the, the, like, a band comes on, they're playing surf rock. Guy's wearing a luchador mask and he's just ripping. He's got two horns plus a drum kit plus a bass player and the uh, sax player. The place was going crazy. It was their fourth anniversary, so I, I can't guarantee every night is yeah, right. like this festival of amazing. But I just sat there for like four hours drinking coconut Caucasians and watching this entertainment and all these people, all these locals, they were loving it. Shameful Tiki. There's one in Toronto. I haven't seen it yet either. But uh, This but, sounds like a classic place that Jeremy Baker would take you to. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. <laughs> so so Shameful Tiki, awesome. Can be a uh, long time standby. And, and Gilton Co. when you want to see some live music. Fantastic. Well, well there you go. If you're Vancouver, heading over the Vancouver, pond. Vancouver, you're a good second. Give me some in Julia, bro. Nothing's fine. I'm torn. <laughs> I'm all out of faith.
That's right. I'm this all is how I feel. This is cold how and I, I feel. am shamed, lying naked on the floor. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, guys. Thanks.